Okay, now let's explore R as a calculator. So all I mean by that is you can do 6 plus 5. Oops. And you get that. Okay, and the R, of course, can do something like uh, e to the second. Remember the function e to the second, or e to the minus 2, in, for example like here. This is e to something very complicated, but it can do e, for example, to the minus 2. So you just, how do you type that in? You don't want to have to type a, um, upper, what do you call that? Upper, upper level, so you can do it like this anyway. This is the e function, and this would be e to the minus 2. So you can do that as well. Now, as I said before, the 1 here indicates this is the first case. In this case, there's only one case, but it indicates that it's the first case. Okay, now, uh, we've seen this already, but suppose you want to um, assign something to the variable x. You can. We have two ways to do it. You can. This is the standard way to do it. So that would assign 2 to x. You can see that there because I typed in x and I got 2. Or you can do it sort of the more, maybe, this way if you like. And still, x has 2. Um, now, it's easier to type this, but there are some times when apparently this might not be a good idea, but I think we can use it pretty safely. If you want to be like perfectly R uh, careful, then you can do it this way. And you can also do things like this, x plus x, which is 4. Now, one thing about r is that you shouldn't name uh, a ver You can name a variable x, you can name it y, you can name it all kinds of things, but you shouldn't start the name with a number. And you shouldn't start it with a, a period either. And also, names are case sensitive. So if I type capital X now, it's not going to be 2. In fact, I don't think it even exists but it's not going to be 2. Okay, so it doesn't even exist. So small x and capital X would be different. So it's case sensitive. Okay, so suppose we uh, do this, and I enter it. Now, in the last class, we talked about loading, where you, you had to load data into R. Now, this concatenate method, we can also say that's for loading data, but obviously it's for uh, loading. It, you wouldn't want to type out a whole data set that way, but uh, if you're creating uh, relatively small sets of data, then you can type them in using this concatenate method or this combined me method, this C function. Okay, let's consider uh, something called the body mass index. I don't know if you know what that is. BMI, uh, it tells you how much fat you have <laughs> basically in your body. It's defined uh, for each person as the weight in kilograms divided by the square of the height in meters. So it's kind of a, a it's a ratio of your weight to your height. So if your weight is really high compared to your height, that means that you're fat, I guess. So suppose I also have people's heights here, in addition to their weights there. And I want to figure out their body mass indexes for each one of them. So the first person is 60, is their weight, and their body mass, I'm sorry, their height is 1.75 meters. And the second person is 72 a weight, and their height is 1.8 meters, and so on. So how can I create the body mass index? So first of all, let's make a variable, 
and then you try to do it. See if you can do it first, and then I'll do it. So pause the video and try to do it. Well, first of all, if you uh, didn't, don't remember how to do square, because we need the square, let's just review that. So this is how you have to do square. Okay, actually we didn't talk about that, but this is how you have to do square, so let's try that. So now we've squared all the values in height. Okay, with that, does that help you to do this? Okay, so stop the video and try to do it now. Okay, now, if you don't know, uh, you might might have guessed that division is a forward slash. So how would we do this? So this is what we would do. Okay, so remember that this is going to be carried out um, element-wise. In other words, element by element. So what do I mean by that? So when we say um, height squared, we're going to, basically, this is going to create a new vector which is this vector. Okay? And then we're going to so we're going to have this vector which is the height squared vector which is here and then we're going to have weight so that's this vector and we're going to divide um this number by this number 72 by this number. So that's what I mean by el element wise 57 by this number and so on. So let's try it. And then te find out what, what what it is, like that. So this is the BMI index, so-called BMI index, for these people. Now one thing is, <coughs> you might wonder, does it do, why doesn't it do weight divided by height first, and then square that? So we, you know, we talk about the order of preference, uh, the order of preference uh, order preference. So this operation has pr uh, goes before is uh, performed before this operation. So you can say this is kind of a more powerful operation or higher in the order of preference. So this one gets done first and then this one gets done. If you wanted the weight uh, divided by the height to happen first, you could put parentheses around it just like in regular math. Okay, let's stop this video here, and the next thing we're going to learn about is some something that's very important in R, very important to uh, know that R does, and that's called vector recycling. You'll see it's not it's very simple, but it's also uh, it's also used all of the time. So we'll talk about that next vector recycling.